Hi everybody, Tom Forgione from Web Alliance International. I uh, just wanted to give you a, a little bit of a uh, update of some of the things that you should have on your website. Uh, it's important to make sure that your website looks professionally designed and has your brand incorporated into it because we know um, through our experience of uh, over 17 years of doing this that branded websites do much better than unbranded websites. Um, it just gives the customers a better, you know, warm and fuzzy when they get there that they're, they're at a professional site. Uh, so I just wanted to give you an idea as to some of the content uh, issues that you need to uh, overcome. The first one is make sure that you have unique content. Uh, unique content means content that you didn't steal from other websites to put on your website. Uh, make sure that you don't use articles from other websites and then you re-spin them to uh, you know serve the needs of your website it's not a good idea you're better off spending the money getting very good content for your website that's compelling that will give people you know the information that they're looking for so then they ultimately make the decision to call you or uh, buy something on your website if it's a shopping card or you know give you a credit card you know those are important things and when you skimp on the copy, it's not going to you know work out too well. It's going to look like a uh, um, amateur did the site. You know, even if it's very professionally designed, it, you know, you don't want to lose the credibility in the copy. Have a great design, you know, or vice versa. You don't have great copy in a poorly designed website. Um, it has to you know all be there. You want to make sure that uh, your content is informative enough to get someone to do something. What do you want them to do? You want them to call you? You want them to uh, buy something on your website? You want them to fill out a form? Download a PDF? Uh, whatever it is, the content has to be written in a way to get them to act. Now that means that your content shouldn't be dry or academic. It should be copywritten. You know, with there's techniques that we use in copywriting that uh, help drive people to do what we want them to do. We want them to read something, move to the next piece of uh, copy, then move again to the next piece of copy, then finally act. You know, we call it a call to action. I'm sure you've heard that before, uh, but it's important that the copy really stands out. You want to make sure that if you're blogging, that you blog articles of worth that people will, you know, find interesting, that they will share with people. There's nothing better than creating articles that people share on uh, you know Facebook on Twitter and LinkedIn and other social media outlets that's fantastic when that happens and it spreads virally you want that to happen so that's why you want to put everything you can into the articles that you write hoping for um, that that type of uh, uh, viral loop if you will um, your content should make a difference it shouldn't be bland stuff that they could find everywhere. I mean, you're supposed to be an expert here. This is your business. Give them something very good, like I said before, and they will save it or share it. Make sure everything is spelled correctly. Uh, that's a big one. But a, a, a big one that people forget is make sure the facts are right. Make sure that what you're saying is true and accurate and that if somebody does something with the content you give them, they can't get hurt or uh, you know, um, die from something that you tell them. Make sure that if you're giving recipes out that you've done it before or you, know, you let them know that peanuts are involved and someone has an allergy with peanuts. You, know, you, get, the, you get the idea. Just make sure it's good stuff. Um, I can't stress enough how important it is for good content on your website when you blog we've seen 44 or more percent increase in traffic to our website just from blogging alone and putting up good content on the website and I'm sure you can see uh, you know good results as well this is free advertising for you if you know how to you know write copy if not it's inexpensive copywriters are not that expensive and but it's worth it you know you want to make sure that it's good copy for your website so the rules of thumb are don't steal copy from other websites. Make sure that if you can't write the website copy, you hire a professional copywriter that can write it. You don't want your website copy to be too dry or academic. And you don't want your website copy to be too short. If it needs to be long for people to get the understanding of what you're talking about, make it long. 
if someone doesn't want to read it and they get it in the first couple of paragraphs, then they won't continue to read. It's better to, you know, have it and not to need it than need it and not to have it. That's the problem, okay? So, uh, there you go. Make sure that your content is good. Send me some of your websites. Let me take a look. I'd be happy to look them over and uh, give you my uh, counsel on them. Uh, or give us a call and uh, we'll be happy to talk to you about uh, getting your copy uh, professionally done. 732-818-0080 and uh, have a profitable day.